Hey there, so we're now in the hangar, one of the hangars at Granson, not my hangar. Um, some very beautiful planes here. Um, sorts of planes that I don't think I'll ever get the privilege of being skilled or lucky enough to fly or sit in or anything like that, but at least you can look at them, it's so beautiful. Here we go, we've got another one over there, look. <clears throat> Actually, it'd be easier if I just turn. Yeah, no. uh, that's stunning. Apparently, I don't know, there's something special about this one. I think it's one of the only ones in Europe or something. Uh, something about it, it's the only one. I can't remember, I'll figure out what it is. Then over here, we've got Chris's Extra. Uh, G Busy, Bzi, uh, which is very beautiful. Um, it's uh, Extra 300L. It's very similar to the ones that we uh, flew at Camjera Club. Um, this is one of the global stars, and uh, it's been—it's just come back from China, I think. Um, not quite sure. Uh, about to go to the Philippines for another display tour, but I thought I'd show you some of the um, what it looks like without the wings on. This is where you mount the. Um, this is where you mount the wing spar, the rear of the wing, and then the um, tail. Goes here, yeah. These are the wings. And when it's mounted, we tie the aileron together with a bolt so that they're locked, so they don't flap about. Makes it easy to clean, but also uh, so they don't get damaged. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to show you is over here, the tail, where it's only it's one solid part that holds it together. And this, um, this part of the tail, this section of the tail here, if I can, <laughs> comes off, comes clean off, and then you just slot it in and mount it, which I think is really, really cool. Now, um, in about a month, I'll be helping him put it back together, if I'm, if I'm lucky enough and I'll see if I can convince him to let us record it so that people can see how these planes are taken apart um, so that they can be shipped. Um, and so that, you know, we can do tours in other countries. It's a very, very, very cool place here. And um, I'm really, really looking forward to showing people how these planes work and what it's like to be around them and how you maintain them. Uh, it certainly makes things a lot cheaper if you understand the basics of how to use a spanner. Stay tuned.